G'day furballs, it is me again. I know it's been a really long time. So firstly, I want to apologize for the fact that I have been away for quite some time. And the reason for that was because I got like a really bad viral infection flu thing. You guys also notice that I'm having like, you know, a difference up here changing the scenes up. Um, I'm in a different lo area and location, still the same place, but um, I've just wanted to see how lighting would go because I know like people always say, Put face on, which looks cool, but like I'm just testing things out and seeing how it's going. I will also be trying to keep this vlog pretty short um, because I am still pretty sick, and being sick and inside a fursuit head is not the ideal thing. But let's get on with this week's fur vlog. So, for some time, I actually wanted to speak about this topic because I think it's pretty interesting to say the least. And the topic is going to be about why do furries get so much hate? Like, honestly, has anybody else questioned why furries are so badly hated? I mean, we can all go back and say, you know, hey, it's probably because it's something really weird and different and, like, you don't see that often. Like, it's just not as common as cosplayers. But then you have to think, well, hold on, how does that weird trend about the weird stuff that goes on behind closed doors come about about furries? Well, we unfortunately have I think of like NCIS or SVU that brought out a particular scene and an episode that basically was looking at a mascot and uh, a person and let's just say that uh, that was probably one of the weirdest episodes I've probably ever seen. So that's kind of sort of how things came about for furries was that the media decided to take a mascotting character put it in a really bad situation and ba-boom we have suddenly furries being like hated on because of this one episode where like someone's doing something bad but they're not classified as a furry but apparently it's somehow related to furries like what and the funny thing is when I was planning on doing this vlog video a while back before I got sick I actually asked on social media why you guys think that furries have and get so much hate on them. And funny enough, a lot of you guys, along with my partner who is not a furry, said the exact same thing. That it was because that when furries are really introduced into the whole uh, reality that's not the furry fandom, to say the least, and also through the media, that, you know, we've got this really bad image of furries. And that's basically stuck for a very long time. So I suppose when we look back at the origin of how things became, we can look at that. I have a cotton on my nose which I didn't realise was there before. Ew. The other thing we can look at is that one particular documentary, was like, you know, My Strange Addictions. And yet again, media put furries in a really bad position by basically saying that there are these sorts of people that dress up in animal suits but if we could like get a fursuit head and stick it on, you know, a news reporter for like five minutes, they would probably be like, oh my god, I can't do this, okay, I suddenly regret everything I said before. And if you guys go back and see my reaction video about that documentary from, uh, I think it was like Weird Things or something like that, well they did a really amazing documentary to say the least. It's actually really great to see someone that's like doing the interviews and actually getting into a fursuit and experiencing what it's like to be inside of a fursuit. I think that sounds really good and that we need that positivity in the fandom. Now, I did say on one of my little tweets that I would also be talking about how to deal with this hate. And to be honest, the best way with dealing with this sort of hate is basically by ignoring it. And I know that sounds really simple and easy and it's really not. I think every furry out there on YouTube has to do with it and goes, oh my God, why me? And it's, it's a bit of a juggling act. Hello, Mr. Postman. Do 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 Why do I dance all the time? I don't, I don't know why I do these things. Oh my god. But yes, unfortunately, the media has projected this negative image of furries out there and like there's always a mixture of furries that say you know that's horrible and terrible and then there's another mixture of furries like no this is really cool blah 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 I like it 
And then you have this issue in the fandom where you have first, like, completely fighting with one another. And I basically just want to end this video on saying, do what you want to do best. Um, but always remember that it may have a negative effect on the furry fandom. Now, I do apologize. I know usually I talk a little bit more and ramble on a lot. But, as I said, I still am kind of sort of recovering from being sick. And I just want to say a really quick thank you to all of you amazing furballs out there. I love you all so much for, like, being so supportive and everything. And I think I'm, like, close to hitting a thousand subs. I haven't checked in a while because I've been sick. But, on a side note, some updates is that I will be trying to do things a little bit different with my video vlogs. This is that I'm getting the lighting and everything correct. And that I may be changing up my background to being a green screen. But, yes, I will be doing another video for next week. I will be resuming my usual schedule of uploading once a week. But for now, that's all the time I have to speak with you guys. I hope you have really enjoyed this video and been great to get back into all of this stuff even though I've been sick. And I hope to see you all in the next video. As for now, bye-bye!